Hey guys. Hi. Hey everybody. Um, I hope everyone's doing well. Sorry, I haven't posted in a while. So my main reason for not posting that much on YouTube is just that, you know, I have a four-year-old and when she's not at school, you know, like, I um, want to be home with her and then I have dogs. I have all these like people and creatures that are making all this noise and stuff. So for me, it's just so much easier to make like short content on, you know, like, um, I guess like TikTok and on Instagram. However, TikTok did just delete my account. Like, I don't even know, like a month ago. I didn't even know. I don't even care. I went on it. Literally, I'd go on it. I'd post a video and then I would get off it. So I didn't really even care that much, but I'm, I'll rebuild. Definitely going to make another TikTok. I just don't know when or any of that. So yeah, everybody's good. My daughter is doing really good. She's about to go into her second year of pre-K. So pre-K is for where I live. I live in Massachusetts in the United States. Uh, so three to four years old, four to five years old is pre-K. And then at six, you start kindergarten. So six is really like the age that you have to be in school like legally. Um, but I put her in school at three just because I wanted, you know, to get her in there to like, you know, give her every, um, every opportunity. And she's doing really good. She's talking a lot more. She is like talking a lot, lot more. Uh, she said her name for the for, for the very first time at uh, four and a half years old. She said her name for the first time. We were, so it was the end of her school year and I was making for her teachers. I made them each these like huge bouquets of candy flowers. So essentially like I made can, like big candy bars into like flowers and then I put them in a bouquet. They were like very over the top and it took me so long and at the very end I like calculated because I was like how much were these really like individually because I had I kept buying and getting so much stuff and I was getting like the huge case of the candy from like Costco and still it turned out it was like dude it was so expensive I think I paid like $45 per per bouquet after I made them because I there was so much stuff that was involved um and she's got like six teachers so I was like Jesus uh but they looked phenomenal. I mean, I honestly, I did not care about the price. The real thing was the time. It took me so long. Like, I would say that each one of those took me like probably two hours, maybe. I don't know. It took a really long time, um, but they were like perfect. But point of story is that I knew she was gonna want some candy, so I'd set aside some for her. And she really wanted the like big candies. And I was like, I will give you one of the big candies if you say your name. And she was like, what's your rose? And I was like, Chris, 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 come here, come here. So Chris came up and I was like, Winter Rose, I will give you one of the big candies if you say your name. And she said, Winter Rose. And then stomped her feet. And we were like, ah. uh, And then we tried to get her to say it again so we could like get a video and of course she wouldn't. But she got one of her big candies. So I was so proud of her because that has been, um, like really one of like my just one of the things like I've really really wanted is just like for her to say her name so uh yeah that was like I just I felt really just amazing about that and she's been saying more things and she's in speech therapy I mean she's been in speech therapy since she was three years old uh well actually before that but through the school she's been doing speech therapy like three times a week for uh like almost two years now so she's doing really good and I'm like so proud of her and yeah and it's really crazy because I don't know she just kind of falls into like a weird category because she's not non-verbal like she does talk but she doesn't talk a lot and she doesn't really talk when people talk to her. Like if another little kid came up to her and was like, hey, what's your name? She would just like look at them and like walk away. So she does talk. So she's not nonverbal, but she doesn't talk a lot. And she also won't repeat stuff. Like if you say like, oh, repeat that, she will not repeat it. She's like, nope, bye, peace out. Um, so 
I don't know. So she's like kind of, so she's not nonverbal, but she's not um, like super talkative, but she's definitely getting more talkative, which is awesome. And what's crazy is I'm pretty sure she can read and they didn't teach her to read in school. She's in preschool. And like, it's just so interesting, like the things that she'll pick up on. So, so now, okay, like when I'm watching Netflix, I'll, or for, like for her, um, you know, I'll, click it and she'll say yes no yes no well she's and then she'll say up down she started saying left and right she was like left right left right um and that's another thing is saying yes is like so she only knew how to say no she could only say no she couldn't say yes so i would flip the channel and she would say no 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 and then when she wanted me to when she wanted to watch something she would just pause so then i would take that as a yes so then I would hit yes so then I would you know do it but now she says yes so like even that is such like a oh my god like thank you you know like I'm so grateful for every you know new word she's learning every new skill she's learning so um, I'm very hopeful that uh, you know in the future she'll be able to you know like the, the goal is to have her be able to be with kids like her own age doing the things that that they're doing and right now she's she's not like tremendously behind and it's weird because she can ex she excels at so many things that other kids her age can't do like I'm almost 100% sure she is reading it, like she's reading things and nobody's teaching her how to read she's just she's just literally like we like we'll like walk by something and she'll read it and I'm like what just happened um so I don't know it's pretty cool but yeah so I'm very very happy she's doing great uh we're doing good um Chris and I are doing good his business is doing good I have kind of just been doing like not like a ton of stuff I've been doing um you know like I don't know some DIY beauty stuff like here and there but really just like focusing on winter like really focusing on her and just like I don't know our home I guess I've been we've been like doing some uh revent wait remodeling um re what's it what's that word yeah remodeling read that re whatever I don't care uh so yeah we've been doing that and that's been really cool and oh you guys might be interested in this um i am i'm pretty sure i'm gonna start selling monet and if you don't know what monet is uh it is a hair company but it's also an mml so that's like a pyramid scheme that's like you know moms from utah with 15 kids you know making tiktoks dancing and like showing their hair uh which i know sounds crazy and you're like what so hear me out so this is the thing is I've been trying to grow my hair. If you don't know, I have been trying to grow my hair, which by the way, I have not bleached my hair in nine months. I, the last time my hair got bleached was in November of 2022, and it is now August of 2023. And look at my hair. So yeah, crazy, right? And if, you, if I go to the side, you can like really see like the new growth compared to the bleach. So like, look, so like new, so it's like healthy and it's like bleach. Isn't that crazy so yeah so i'm trying to grow my hair like to my butt i want to be a mermaid um it would just make me so happy to have super long hair and i wanted that so bad and i always see these like monet um you know girls like selling stuff and they all have amazing hair and it's like is that marketing most definitely do i want to try some of these products and see if because I definitely know that like changing hair products really can make the make a world of difference. And I wanna try some of these things. And every single time I talk to anybody about it or I even post about it, people are like, you know, it's an MML, so it's evil, it's predatory, it's this and that. And people say it's predatory because there's different MMLs that are different. Like there's some, you know, like Mary Kay people that they'll go into a store and they'll see somebody and they're like, oh, I love your sweater let's be friends, like, do you want to sell Mary Kay, you know? And then there's, I don't know, there's just MMLs in general are like predatory. Um, you know, like uh, those legging, that legging company, you know, everybody was like LuLaRoe, like everybody was buying the leggings and then it was 
you know, it's a pyramid scheme. And I think that's the thing that like really like, you know, blew everybody out of the water. And everyone's like, oh my God, it's a pyramid scheme. It's so horrible. Um, yeah, so the reason I'm, I, I'm gonna do Monet, 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 I don't even know, is because I wanna try the hair products. And if you join, you get 30% off and I wanna try a bunch of these things. So I'm gonna join, I'm gonna try out some stuff and I'm gonna post about the things that I try out. And if you guys like any of those things, you can buy them. If you don't, you don't have to. Like I'm not doing it because I'm like, buy his hair products. I'm doing it because I genuinely wanna try this stuff. And every time I'm like, hey, I want to try this, people are like, oh, no, your hair is going to fall out. And I'm like, well, did it make your hair fall out? And they're like, no, no, no. But it made my cousin's grandmother's dog walker's hair fall out. And that's just, like, not good enough for me. Like, I want to try it myself. And I really want my hair to be to my butt. Like, I want my hair to be to my butt. And I want it to be healthy. And I want it to be long. And I want it to be amazing. And I'm doing all of these things to have my hair be better. And I feel like I'm doing a really good job, but I want better. I want my hair to be longer. I want my hair to be thicker. I want, like just the fact that I'm not bleaching my hair is huge in itself, you know? And I wanna do everything I can do because I just want my hair to be like super long and thick. And it's, you know, honestly, I, I bleached my hair for like 15 years. So the fact that I just haven't bleached it in like nine months, that in itself is like, what? That's so awesome. Um, so I want to try these products and it's shitty because I feel like M M M M Ls, wait, M M Ls, yes. <coughs> Excuse me, they're um they are predatory and they're so like eh that it does make everybody go, oh my God, like this is clearly a scam. Like every single time I see anybody and they're like doing some kind of hair thing and I'm like, oh yeah, girl, like tell me what it is. And then they say like, oh, it's Monet. I'm like, <coughs> like I literally roll my eyes. I'm like, great, so you're selling this and I keep going. But it's really come to the point where I'm like, maybe I'll just try these things and maybe they work and maybe they don't work, but I am a very honest person and I know that. So I know that, you know, if I, if I, like it's, it's hard because I feel like you cannot trust anybody anymore. Like you cannot trust people. You, you cannot trust people that are <coughs> like online doing anything. It's not like when people used to first start selling or not selling stuff, but they first used to start like promoting things, you know? It's like now, People are like getting offered so much money and they're getting offered all these things. Why are you coughing? <coughs> and I'm not like that, but I know it's hard for you to know that without knowing me. You know what I mean? So, um, but take everything that you see from anybody with a grain of salt. But I know that I am not, you know, corrupt and I know that I'm not going to lie to anybody, but I, I don't know about that for everybody else. And... I know that hair doesn't seem like that big. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my God, what are you going? I would think to other people. But to me, it is. Because all I wanted was like bleach blonde hair. And now all I want is like healthy hair. It could also be like, you know, same color that's coming out of my head. That would be cool. Like, I'm totally cool with like, you know, like a white hair. I'm digging some Khaleesi hair. So I really want to try it and it sucks is because I don't ever want to come off as like a Utah mom with five kids who's <laughs> like, look at my hair, who's like 22 with like hair to her ass. It's like, okay, yeah, Jessica, we got it. Like you have really good genetics. Um, so I don't ever want to come off like that. So I hope I don't, but Winter, you want to say hi? <laughs> say hi. Yeah, meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow. Oh, so guys, something else is have you ever heard of barefoot shoes? Well, first of all, have you ever heard of being barefoot? So uh, I've been doing a lot of research on barefoot, like being barefoot. Um, so my feet suck. I have 
Am I too close? You guys won't be able to see my feet. So, can you see my feet? Oh my god, they're so dirty. We were just outside! Why am I showing this on? Never mind, don't look at my feet. Um, so I have bunions. My feet suck. And I've always had, like, bad feet, pretty much. And, like, always. Like, my feet, like, have always, I've, like, always had bunions. And... I, it's definitely from like the shoe wear that I've been wearing. And I did like a ton of research about shoes. And essentially our feet are not feet shaped anymore. Our feet are shoe shaped because we wear these like really tight shoes. So I started wearing, so I have really bad bunions. I just wanted like really wide shoes. I was buying shoes that were like two to three sizes too big for me for like years. And then I started getting Crocs. So I started wearing Crocs about five years ago. Yeah, <laughs> crazy. So about five years, <coughs> why are you coming? So like five years ago, I got Crocs and I, I said I would never wear Crocs that they were so ugly, blah, blah, blah. I started wearing Crocs five years ago. <clears throat> and so Crocs are, are not barefoot shoes. So barefoot shoes means they have zero drops. So there's essentially no heel. So like the heel and the front are the same. They're on the same line. So it's a zero drop. It's also really wide here. And they're supposed to be like really like bendy, which these aren't. <clears throat> so then that way, winter. She has this huge bag of cop this Costco bag of chips. We had two bags and she took the other bag and she threw it all over the rug in my bedroom. <laughs> so that was awesome. Here, you want some more chips? I'm so proud of you. What are these called? What are these called? Chips? Can you say chips? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> yeah. So, now she wants to sit with the bag of chips. <coughs> Why don't you coughing? Oh my God, sorry guys. So, so I started wearing Crocs five years ago. And after wearing Crocs for a good amount of time, I remember I tried to like put on some other shoes and they just like did not fit right. Like I remember, thinking like, oh, it's weird that none of these shoes fit. It's almost like my feet have gotten bigger. And, and I'm doing this research these last few days on barefoot shoes. They said that after wearing barefoot shoes for a while, you actually can't fit into your old shoes because your feet or your feet go back to being like thicker and longer and more normal. So I'm like, dude, crazy. <clears throat> so I think that's what happened when I stopped I think that's why I can't wear any of my old shoes anymore. So yeah. So I just bought a few pairs of barefoot shoes. I bought like toe separators. I got like all of this stuff to try out and just wearing normal socks. Like they're mittens. You're not supposed to wear normal socks. You're supposed to wear socks that have toes. And I hate that stuff. Like that. I like the feeling of my toes being separated like has always like ugh, me. But it's really true that our feet are supposed to be like our hands. If your feet have like muscles and joints and we like baby them in such a weird way, we like, you know, wrap them in plaster and put all this cushioning under them and they're never able to develop. So yeah, I'm trying to like, I'm doing me first <clears throat> and then I'm gonna get all the stuff for the baby cause I'm still doing research. And, uh, and Chris said he would be down for it too. But like, honestly, Chris has like 5,000 pairs of sneakers. And all, I'm always like, dude, like those sneakers look so narrow. Um, I don't know, like it's, it's weird. After wearing Crocs for so long, I just like can't even like imagine going back to like, like tight shoes. And now once I go bare, like barefoot, they're shoes, but they're called barefoot. They're like barefoot shoes because of they, imitate being barefoot. So I'm excited, a little nervous about trying them. I don't know. I don't know if it'll be easy maybe because of wearing Crocs for so long. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on going barefoot. So I don't know, if that's something you guys want to see, let me know, I'll, I'll do it. Uh, yeah, I think that's really about it. I am probably gonna let you guys go. 
if you guys have anything else that you um you want me to talk about well let me know sorry this is like kind of a random video but yeah all right love you guys bye